Hey guys, Lynette with the Red Carpet Report. We're at the Paley Center for the 50th anniversary of General Hospital. 50 years, happy anniversary. We're gonna talk to a lot of the cast, so come on, let's go check it out. Hi, Hello. Linda with Red Carpet Report, how are you? Nice to meet you, how are you? 50 years, what does that mean to you? Well, considering I've been on 20. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's an honor, man, you know, to be on a show that's been on that long and the history and it's fantastic, you know. Absolutely. Now, your character has done so many things, has been through so many things. Is there anything that you personally would love to see your character have gone through? You know, like you said, you know, I, I've done it pretty much everything, every which way but loose. So with me, it's just a matter of, I just want to keep uh, excited about what I'm doing, passionate. And as long as the stories are real and truthful and I'm working with people who, can, who, who, can, who want to do what I do, that makes me happy. If not, then I, it, it's peaks and valleys, you know. Now, part of you is obviously in your character. Does your character ever seep into your real everyday life? You guys work so much, like every day, all day. Yeah, I mean, it used to a lot more when I first started. Uh, first two or three weeks, I, you know, I had a breakdown because I couldn't shake the character. And, but I've learned to deal with that and not, and it hasn't affected me too much on in the 20 years. But I just finished a movie called The Ghost and the Whale. Let me plug it. Of course. I want more. I want to hear more. And... It's been 20 years since I become another guy, yeah. and it got me. Yeah. It, 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 it was hard, but the outcome is seemingly great from what we we have. But it was tough to to shake who that guy was. It took me, and it wasn't good to finish a movie and go right back to GH. Oh, right, because it's hard to switch it. So hard. Yeah. I needed about a month off completely. Yeah, I can imagine. But I'm doing better now. So tell us a little bit more about the movie and when it, where can our viewers well, find it and when is movie, it coming out? The movie, uh, ha, uh, it's called Ghost in the Whale. It's about a man who went out to sea with his wife, came back alone, so the town thinks he killed her. So you never know until the end what happened. And he's bipolar and uh, he speaks to a whale for therapy. And the whale's voiceover is Jonathan Price. And he just sent over the uh, his voiceover. Oh. Incredible. Oh man. So we're editing now. My wife executive produced, and it will be out by the end of the summer, or the end of the year for sure. And we're real excited about it. I love that. Well, best to you. I look forward to seeing you in a different character. See, it's a different guy. Yeah. It ain't me. It ain't Sunny. And it's and it's a heavy character. Yeah. He's tortured. Yeah. And you know, you you'll see him go through mania, depression. All I have like seven monologues. Most of them with the whale. I love it. You're looking to love it. I love it. Well, best to you and congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like or subscribe. I'm Linda Antwi, or am I? I might be Linda's evil twin. Bye, guys. <laughs>